to film or not to film is the question. This is a 1997 Cadillac Eldorado with a anti-theft problem. It won't crank. Got nothing. Um, let me show you the message on the cluster. Right, cranking it over. Something running in the back. Of course, the battery was completely dead when I got it. History of the vehicle, who knows? Car starts, doesn't start, tried a different key, started, worked. I don't know. Um, so, I'm just thinking, do I film this or not? This old school system. This is the one with the pellet in the key. It's got a resistor that um, is in the key, and it's a pretty basic system. The pellet um would be uh, signaling the instrument cluster instrument cluster would talk to the engine computer and give the okay to uh, start the vehicle so um i don't know am i going to keep you guys with me probably let me show you one thing that i did off camera well i read some codes off camera but um i'll get you guys on that if we need to uh off camera i looked under the dash just to take a peek I want to show you something. So what I was looking for, guys, was just evidence of, you know, was anyone under here? And what I see is an aftermarket fuse. What that tells me is this thing most likely has some type of remote start in it, which when you put remote starts in systems like this, you have to do something with that key and those resistor wires, my money is on our problem being right here. Well, let's see if we're right. Let's pull this panel down. All right, airbag stuff is in the yellow. Our anti-theft wires, that's this one right here. This. This orange, see this orange sheath right here? And then the two white wires, that's for your pellet, for your key. So that wasn't messed with. Something was. What were they doing in here? It was removed. Something was put in here. And it looks like maybe it was taken out. Yeah, there's a jumper in here for the starter yeah somebody put something aftermarket in here at some point in time this yellow wire is the start wire they put yeah it's these scotch locks on here none of that's none of that's good none of it what are we tapped into here for this fuse i don't know yet all right Well, the nice thing about where we are right now, we can easily check this this uh, resistance on the key. It's a five. They use a five volt reference circuit, just like the rest of our sensors do, and we can do a two quick measurements here and here, and see what we got as a good beginning point. Let's do that. It's tough doing under dash filming sometimes. I really can't use my tripod in here. Just back probing the one white wire on the one side we have a steady five volts let's pull the key out put the key in see right there we should have you see that voltage drop for a second watch it again okay, that's what the key out why is that why was that bouncing around in this is key in the on position yeah, that's not good all right let's move to the other wire looks like a reference low circuit so that'd be a ground these are very similar in how a thermistor circuits wired key off Yeah. 
see that go to zero volts and that's because now with the key off that five volts is going to disappear too so the five on the other wire that would be an open circuit five volts on that one when I put the key in this this is going to load the circuit it should the second you put the key in this should drop Looks like I can almost make it. Just wiggling the key. Sorry about the buzzer. You see those voltage changes there. So what we have is a, a messed up tumbler it looks like. So what I can do, what I can do to prove it is I can take this key, let's measure this key and then we'll put a variable resistor in there and simulate it. So to measure the key, put our meter to an ohm scale. And right now that's on a, a K ohm. 1K, I may have to change that. Let's let's start with a 10K just because I don't remember what they made these keys. So just one side there and touch this on the other side a bit difficult to do and show you guys at the same time it's okay that my hands are touching these leads because this is a a lower ohm circuit 1.13 k ohm so 1130 ohms okay cool let's go get that resistor My U-Test Advanced Terminal Kit. Yeah. I got me a 10,000 ohm variable resistor. Just using this resistor. It's basically a potentiometer. And it's got some... Oh, it's got a lock on it. That's cool. Once I set it, it'll lock it. Sweet. All right, so we're going to dial in the resistance we need, plug it into here, see if the car starts. Alright, so right now, that resistor is 1.13 ohms between my two terminals. Let's lock that down so that doesn't move. Let's double check our reading again, make sure we're in that range. Now the only thing that will interfere with this is if that key reads a little bit, then we're going to have an issue with two paths. One would be the key, the second is my resistor. Okay, cool, that should work. So what I'm talking about here, guys, is if we, I'm making like two parallel circuits. One's the key, and then the other is my makeshift resistor. All right, let's just see if the car starts. No anti-theft message yet. Bam! Sweet! Alright, so what do we need to do to fix this? Yeah, we're not putting an ignition switch or tumbler in this. That's what it needs. I will show you. I'm going to see if... Wait, hold on. <laughs> What do you want to say, Pete? I want to know, Pete. You there? Yeah. I want to know if I have your permission to bypass this anti-theft system. Yes, yes. I do? Yep. Okay, sweet. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to wire in a resistor. Be done with it. 
I mean, who's going to steal this 1997 Cadillac Eldorado anyway? And if you want to steal it, take it. I'm not putting an ignition tumbler in this. Not doing it. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to take this orange sheath that has our wires in it. We're going to cut it. Cutting it right here. I'd cut it down lower if I didn't have you guys with me, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing, so we'll cut it up here, okay? Orange sheath, not the yellow one. Don't touch the yellow one. That's your airbag. The orange sheath with the two white wires in it, we're cutting that, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to strip this back. Okay? Then we're going to strip these two white wires. Right? And we're going to put a 1300 ohm resistor in there. So where am I getting a 1300 ohm resistor? Well, I brought a whole bunch with me. And I wish, at this point, what I wish I knew my color bands. I don't know my color bands on my resistors. It would be really helpful if I did. Ooh. That one's close. You know, learn your color bands, Danner. I'll be here all day. We could take two 3,000 ohm resistors, put them in parallel to each other. We may end up making one here. Oh, 1,200 ohms. That might work. They give you a tolerance. Let's try the let's try the 1,200 ohm resistor real quick. See if the car starts. Nice. It likes the it likes the 1,200 ohm resistor. We're gonna use it. Ugly. We'll make it pretty when we're done. Let's make sure it starts again. All right. each other either and if they do I'll change our resistor our resistance <clears throat> probably a better way I could have done that is not ideal but this will work I'm gonna use a piece of hose I just just don't want this to get into a position where it touches and they're stranded somewhere because of my makeshift repair hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing just using a piece of old vacuum hose I'm gonna stuff it in there
sure it starts. Sweet. I'll get you guys a voltage reading on this circuit, the way it's supposed to react here in a minute. You just tape this up so it doesn't walk away on me. We'll stuff that under there and be done with it. All right, last, last thing. Let me get you guys a voltage reading. This is gonna be a little different. It's not gonna react with the key. So there's our voltage signal, 1.64. Remember that's a, that was on the five volt wire. All right, 166. Okay. And again, that's the wire that read five, so it's a pull down type circuit, very, very similar to a thermistor. And uh, what I can do is show you guys that real quick on the wiring diagram, then we can wrap this up. I just wanna make sure you guys are all clear on how this circuit is actually working. So I'm on the top wire that I was before, I was reading five on that wire, and the bottom wire on this connector is the sensor ground, or circuit ground. All right guys, very basic circuit. Um, our key pellet is right here and uh, it's just a resistor between two wires and they show that as a, a purple white and white black um, <clears throat> on the car they were both white but we were on this side of the connector so where it says NCA no color available that is the steering column side the tumbler side of the circuit um, we weren't on the harness side on the other side of that connector. So we were messing around here and here uh, So the way that this circuit is designed in the instrument cluster so you have key in white black and uh, key S in. Resistor all right key resistor in a 10 white black key resistor in purple white um, the way this circuits designed internal to this instrument cluster is identical to a thermistor in how you would attack it and so what you'd have you know what I'll do this let's go to this will be chapter 7 in my book under sorry chapter 6 thermistors and uh, for those of you that want some more training on this scanner dinner premium I'll walk you through this every page in this chapter walk you through this thermistor circuit um, what is the best one for me to use we'll use this one this picture right here instead of me drawing it uh, well, let's focus on the top picture okay so the two wires that we we're messing with would have been here and here and when you unplug a thermistor you'll read five volts on this top wire okay the ground is always going to be zero uh, the reason you read five is you'd have a 5 volt regulator inside the computer sending a constant supply of 5 volts across an internal resistor so this is this would be inside of the instrument cluster so it's going to pass through that resistor and it's going to be monitored too so the computer is watching so a little eyeball we'll put a little eyeball right there computers watching right here okay um, basically think about that as your voltmeter and with no um, current flow, there's no voltage drop here. So this internal resistor that I'm speaking of here, you're still going to have five volts on the other side of it because this is not a path for current to flow. And right now with it unplugged, there's no path for current to flow. No current flow, no voltage drop. So you read five. When you plug this resistor in, in our case, our resistor was... Uh, 1.3 sorry it's hard to draw with my mouse one point three K ohm so 1300 ohms we put a 1200 ohm resistor in they give you some tolerance with these but what that did 
is that is dropping your source voltage, your signal voltage down to 1.6 volts, if I remember, or 5 volt turned into 1.6. Based on what? Based on the resistance of the external resistor and the resistance of the internal resistor. Um, and by the way, this wouldn't be 5 here anymore either. It would be reading 1.6. The computer sees 1.6 volts down on this voltage sensing circuit and says, what about the anti-theft system? It signals my engine computer and says, okay, we are good to go. Go ahead and start the car, initiate the starter relay, whatever else, fuel. So that's it, man. Thermistor circuit, a little bit more uh, involved with the resistors and, and how that all works. And it really ties well into this chapter. So just want to remind you guys about Scanner Danner Premium uh, right here on YouTube. I'll invite you into my classroom, walk you through this kind of stuff. You'll find more information about that on my website. And also you'll find this book on my website too. I know it's a chapter that deals with thermistors, but this is universal type concepts as far as how the circuit's designed so it's not a thermistor on the car but it is still a circuit just like it so i was not going to film this car initially 97 old school cadillac um pats anti-theft system i think it's called uh not something that we'll run into a lot of but thermistor circuits circuit designs we do knowing how to bypass stuff was cool and um, yeah I guess I'm done hope you guys like that car runs and starts I'm not worried about the anti-theft system now if someone wants to steal this car they can have it so easy fix easy money I'll catch you next time